welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in if you're new. Collective, I'm doing your reading. This is going to be a reading for what's going on in the world right now. If you have been called or you feel you're a chosen person, that you have a greater destiny in this life than to just work a nine to five, go to work, come home, and on the weekends, you know, maybe be able to do something, maybe be able to afford to have fun or be creative. Um, if you are outside of that matrix reality, then this could be a me message for you. I'm going to get a few cards just to check in on, you know, some, some events or situations that could be surrounding the planet that you might need to pay attention to at this time. So let me see. What do we have for you, Spirit Guide? Please give me the highest messages for the collective highest message for the collective what do they need to know i am eternally grateful for your guidance so bushfires okay so the, uh, instantly what i got in this situation was not actual literal fires that are happening what i most got in this situation is that there are situations that are occurring here there and everywhere they're little situational and i'm not downplaying any crisis that has happened around the world in the united states anywhere i'm not downplaying anything but i'm saying these are little bushfires that are meant to draw people's attention out that's what i'm getting Okay, so yeah, more information on the bushfires. It's like it's get, it's meant to get people jumping. It's meant to get people moving and taking action. It's emotionally charged situations that are being brought to the light, being highlighted, um, being fired up. This could have been things that have already happened in the past. This could be things that, you know, it's not like it's foreign for us to witness these things, but it's like being pushed back out into the forefront for attention purposes redirection is what i'm getting okay we got depth lake so yeah spirit is saying that you need to look past the surface of what's going on in these situations dive a little bit deeper get a little bit more information um there's more to what's going on than what's on the surface is what i'm getting mostly with that card One more from this deck. Okay, we got the biome connection. Okay. So yeah, we're talking about what's going on in the planet, and that obvious is obviously is the globe, the biome, the place where we live. Yeah, all type of storms are brewing. So I'm not taking these cards literal today because I'm not being guided to them as literal things today. Um, there's some connections that are needing to happen and there's also some connections that are taking place underneath the surface that you don't know that's happening um, there's little situations that are kicking off that are like a domino effect and creating some type of perfect storm here. And this card says cleansing. I'm also getting something with the North Magnetic Pole, something happening with that, that's significant. All right. Let's get some more messages. I, I definitely feel like something is, um, I can never get this word. What is it? It's like coming to a point, coming to a head, but there's a specific word for it. And I think it starts with a C. Uh, culmination? I don't know. Cumulation? That would be accumulation. But that's not what I'm looking for. I don't know. I ain't gonna keep on trying to think of it. <laughs> Okay, we got heart, home, compassion. 
So yeah, I'm definitely getting emotions are to be riled up right now. But there's something else that's going to be taking place at home, close to home. I'm getting somebody's pulling on heart strings close to home. And that's on a global scale and on a micro scale. So this could be happening in your everyday life. As a matter of fact, it's meant to happen in your everyday life. Completion, closing door. God, so there's some type of plan or some type of situation that's almost complete and you're meant to be distracted just long enough to make this happen. Show me this. Show me more. Something's almost completed or a cycle's almost ended. Yeah, we got the horseman, herald of change. Herald of change. So yeah, definitely something is changing and the change is almost complete, I feel like. I'm getting this has all been done before. Some of you guys could be seeing 444, 44, or the number four could be significant to you somehow. <clears throat> Spirit of the river, movement towards adventure. Spirit of the river, movement towards adventure. Yeah, again, I'm getting like this is something that has, it's happened before, but not in the way that it's happening now. It's happened before. This this uh, passing of time, this accumulation point or culmination point or whatever the hell that word is, <laughs> has happened before. But it's it's a different era. It's a different time, and there's different mechanisms that are being used. Same old tactics, same old goals. I'm getting that, um, there are some souls incarnate on this planet right now that knows this river. They've been on this, the, this flow before. This has a lot to do with people waking up. It's like your soul is recalling what is going on. Um, your soul is recognizing the patterns of where we are in the cycle. All right, tell me more. Your life is a canvas. It says artist, manifestation, creative accountability. Um, if somebody paints you a picture, don't let them paint you another one. Again, I'm getting go deeper than what you're seeing. It's like, I'm getting the magician energy here. It's like, I'm doing something over here, but look over here. There's something else going on over here that I don't want you to see what I'm doing over here. Just pay attention over here. It's like you create your reality. Do you want to just focus on the 2D, what the TV shows you, or do you want to dive deeper and see what's really going on? I feel like a lot of people are being called to do this at this time. Really. Okay, we got, you're not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. Okay, again, I'm getting with the north, the true north, the north pole. Something is going on with that. That's significant. Um, but there are about to be a lot of people standing up, guiding people, showing people. Hmm. 
the way forward i was supposed to be doing a video about something else and i started this video i'm gonna do that one next what is on my mind right now <laughs> that was supposed to be my first video oh my this card was gonna come out <laughs> what did i just tell y'all i remember people are waking up their souls are waking up it's a mass thing that's happening and people are starting to recall like I'm getting amazing experiences or impossible. That word impossible keeps coming to me. Impossible experiences. Things that we in this reality don't think could ever possibly happen. It's happening. I'm getting the tower. It's like things that are going to be happening are going to be shocking to people. People are going to be surprised and shocked at some of the changes that are happening here. Yeah, somebody's remembering their soul path, their purpose, their life purpose. Some That's what I was saying when I first started this message. This message is going to be for people who have already realized there's something more going on here. They've already dove a little bit deeper. They're starting to see the distractions and the bigger picture of what's happening with the world, with the planet. I'm also going to emphasize, I'm also being made to emphasize that this is your home. What are you doing? What are you doing? Something needs to change or there's going to be a cycle that actually completes. This is going to take people on a whole nother adventure. One that a lot of people are not prepared for. That's what's going on with these storms. And I also feel like the planet is getting ready to cleanse itself. I'm hearing the word havoc. I'm sorry, defenselessness, right past wrongs, uprooting. Yeah, I feel like a lot of shit is about to get uprooted. A lot of things are about to come to light. Um, I feel like people are going to, oof, I don't like this. It's like you don't get to, just because you didn't make the choices, you not making a choice is a choice. And you have to face the consequences of that. All of us do. So I feel like a lot of people that are not remembering are going to be sorry. They're going to be like, how did we let this shit happen? You know, there's going to be a lot of things coming to surface. Okay, and I'm getting like, there's going to be some type of strictness or rules or servitude. Look at these people. They're saying they're sorry. I feel like there's going to be some something implemented that's taking people's rights away more and more. And people are going to wake up and realize, how did we get to the point where we can't talk? Or we can't say what we want to say or whatever. We can't leave our house. I'm getting like it's going to be so constricted. Okay, we have water your garden, nourishment, body care, tenderness, and rest. Okay, I'm get it now. Get it while you can. That's what Spirit is saying. Get it while you can. Because we're about to go on an adventure you ain't never been on before. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's how it's coming off. It's like get your rest, get your sleep while you can. Take care of yourself while you can. Um a lot of people need to start fasting at this time and get used to the idea of not eating all day. Not eating, you know, every time your mind tells you or something that you've grown accustomed to having tells you or you have a craving for whatever. I don't know why I just did that. Activated earth, power places, ley lines, trust where you're led. This card, I just... um. Yeah, fasting. I'm sorry I cut that off. But <laughs> that's no here or there. That's where the people, you know, who understands what that need, what needs to happen with that. That's preparation. Your body's preparation. Um, 
with this card right here, I I was um in a situation and I'm thinking like, where do I want to go? You know, I want to move somewhere. I know I need to move somewhere and I'm, I'm on my little, okay, let me just tell this little story and now I'm going to shut the hell up on my own personal thing. But I understand why this card is coming out because I'm feeling it. That's why I'm explaining this. It's like, um, before I was trusting spirit and trusting where I was led to go, I had this ego, like I'm going to do my will. I was called to do something more than what I've been doing my whole entire life. But I put that calling to the back burner to try to live in this matrix reality where I thought I could succeed and become happy. And it's like, once you realize like their happiness ain't my happiness and the overall agreed upon reality is not what I want. Once you get to that point where you realize that it's like you surrender, you search your soul and then you surrender. And then that's when you start getting the signs. That's when you start paying attention. That's when you get the wake up call like, okay, all right, you got it now. Let's now just follow after me. I'm going to show you where to go. You have to trust that it's where to go because we're not using ego here. You got to trust and have faith that this is the right path where you're leading to. So when you start to see the signs, the confirmations, the synchronicities, the things that are happening that cannot be coincidental or co coincident, is that the right word? Coincidental? I don't know. I don't, co they can't be coincidence. Um, that's when you start to realize what this, this is being, go to where you're led. I wanted to move. And I'm like, man, I need confirmation that this is the place where I want to move to. This is the place that I need to be at. Because it came to me all of a sudden, like, I ain't never thought to move to this place. And I will disclose where that is one day, but it ain't going to be today. Because there's too much other extra shit going on right now to where I don't feel comfortable disclosing that. So we'll wait to see what happens in the uh, future about that. But yeah, I was like, okay, so... For some reason, I have an inkling to check this place out. And then I'm like, okay, well, Spirit, give me a sign that this is where I'm supposed to be going. Because why would this just stick out in my mind when I've never thought to look here before? Well, I have, but you know, I've passed it off like, no, it's never going to happen. So why did like five minutes later I'm at work, one of my clients called me, bam, keywords right there. The same, I'm like... Uh, this is crazy. Like I was not expecting that. So yeah, you've been activated. The people that have been activated, it's time for you to surrender now to the signs, to the synchronicities, to what's going on so that you can go where you're being led to go. If you get an instinct, an inkling or intuition, a thought in your mind, go with it. I'm not saying go kill nobody, murder nobody, do no stupid ignorant shit. No, I'm saying like, if you're being led to move somewhere, if you're being led to do something, do it and just see what happens. God, I, I never felt so religious in my life. But it's like, it's not about religious. What In religion, you're asked to have belief. You're asked to have faith and unwavering faith without seeing anything. And that's the same thing kind of thing when you trust spirit and when you get into spirituality, except for you don't take anybody else's word for it. You take your own word for it because it's your own experience. There's no control, there's no rules, there's no nothing. It's just you connecting with source, with God, with spirit, with your ancestors, with your spirit team, with the divine, with the universe, whatever name or label anybody wants to put on it. It all leads back to the same place. But yeah, the earth is being activated right now. It's time to go where you're being led to. Um, and a lot of those places that people are being led to are power places with the ley lines, with the vortexes, that energy grid of earth. And I feel like these points, these places are going to be beneficial to the people who are spiritually at that level to receive. All right, let's do some clarification on these cards see if I can get some more information since I've been sat here and talked for 10 minutes <laughs> without pulling no more cards. But let me see what I have for you guys. Show me the bush fires.
Okay, so for somebody, some of these things that are activating you, some of these distractions, somebody's waiting for the next distraction. That's what this card is telling me. Give me one more. Eight of Swords, Mental Prison. Yeah, this is something that's been going around and around and around over and over and over again. And that's what I said on my uh, Facebook. I posted a video on there. I'm like, how many times is they going to do this, pull the, off the same motherfucking shit to get y'all emotionally activated out here to do some shit when you already done seen the same trick a thousand times? How are you still falling for it? It's ridiculous. So yeah, I definitely feel, oh, I'm also getting something here too, like the big one. They're waiting for the big one. The big one. Mm. The, it could have something to do with money, the big one. Show me this lake. taking that card out. Oh my God, I want to say something so bad, but I'm not, it's not time for that yet. We got the four of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. Okay, so for this, I'm getting carried on the string. Some people are being distracted by finances and what's going on financially. Um, <laughs> somebody thinks that they're going to be able to escape the situation by uh, being prepared financially. I'm also getting that somebody needs to look at... Um, <laughs> People who's pushing this digital currency need to look at the depth of it. They need to go a little bit deeper than what's on the surface. Something's being conned off as being very stable, something that's going to secure you for a long time. But I feel like that's a distraction too. All I can say is that uh, this symbol on his hat, somebody needs to pay attention to that. I've seen that before. There's, some, there's a speaker, there's somebody who talks about digital assets all the time. And I'm not mad at them for it, trust them, believe that. I mean, do you, do you, do what you do. I mean, it's not like the dollar's any better, but it's like, uh, be careful of where you're leading people. Because there's something that's happening with that that's going to trap people. I feel like, I mean, it, it looks like it's making people individuals rich but i feel like there's something with that that it's like gonna increase the gap or it's meant to increase the gap between the haves and have nots and the people that think they're gonna be the ones who have are gonna be the ones who have not i don't know who needs to hear that message but it needs to be heard there's somebody who, i know who it is i don't want to say it though they might get mad at me. <laughs> but there, this is a predominant public speaker person who has this symbol or a very similar symbol that they wear on their head. And they're pushing this digital stuff. Okay. Sorry, not sorry. I'm just going by what I see and what's being told to me, so. But yeah, there's definitely something going on financially or with money. That need that people need to look deeper into. I mean, maybe maybe people do need to move to a digital situation, but I'm sitting up here seeing that there's about to be something happening on this planet. There's gonna be different stuff taking place, storms, all that kind of shit. The planet is cleansing itself at this time. So if you can't see it and touch it, I don't think it's an asset. Just saying. 
And look what came out, y'all. I can't make this shit up. The world. The world and the world. I'm hearing that song uh, by, what's his name? Uh, we keep on waiting. John Mayer, <laughs> waiting on the world to change. But yeah, this is talking about there's some type of confusion going on globally. There's definitely something globally happening. But the, the Seven of Cups is talking about having many options, many distractions, not seeing things clearly like a, faca a facade <laughs> and like dreamy type energy, like something that's an illusion that's not real. So there's something going on around the world with money, with these um, distractions Oh, goodness. This shit is crazy. Show me this heart home. Yeah, we got judgments. Uh. Okay, so for those of you who are rising above the bullshit, who are on their chosen destined plan right here, because this is the tree of life. This is talking about your destiny. This is talking about your life purpose and your life uh, plan. And there's another card down here talking about that too. But mm, it's like, this is your turn to rise up and start realizing like... <laughs> The very thing that people are fighting against right now is the very thing that makes us human, which is our compassionate, our compassion, our emotions, our, and yes, they do sometimes lead us to fucked up places and fucked up conclusions and people are able to play off of them. I'm not saying don't have emotional intelligence. That's probably the highest intelligence you can have. I'm saying that that don't disregard feelings and emotions because that is ultimately what makes us human that makes us want to act, that makes us join causes, that makes us want to push for better. You know what I mean? So we can't forget that. And I feel like this is where they're trying to lead humanity astray with all this digital tie, digitized, whatever. Digital assets, digital, everything's about to be digital. Your consciousness is about to be downloaded into a damn computer and you about to be digital. But it's like, you think our bodies is the only thing that has feeling? That's not exactly where it comes from. <sighs> yeah, I definitely feel like this. We, we need to get back to that compassion. And it's like the only time compassion is shown is in a crisis situation. And those are being used against us. Yeah, a lot of people need to realize what fear is and what it does. This is also a part of having emotional intelligence. Show me this completion. Whoa. Somebody needs to start seeing the pattern. That's also what I'm getting here. That this is a pattern. And it's a very intric intricate woven pattern that it's time to be re-examined. Who are these rules and regulations and hierarchy systems really benefiting? What are they really doing to our humanity? What are they really doing to the planet? Where are, we, where are we really heading? Does anybody know? Does anybody give a fuck? I don't think a lot of people do. Does anybody care about the coral reef dying anymore? No. Does anybody care about animals going extinct anymore? No, we never hear about it, never gives a fuck about it unless somebody's pushing an agenda for money. But it's like, okay, what, once you have all the money in the world, all the power in the world, what else could you possibly want? I'll leave that up for you guys to answer. We got the Page of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Page of Wands in reverse. 
So Spirit is saying that um, somebody's running out of time to make a move, to take action. It might be too late to do this in a balanced way. That's why the spirit of the river is here. It's like where we could be past the point of no return at this moment. And it's like the, the time to make your choice is over. The time to make your, it's almost complete. With this closing door, it's like the time to choose. You didn't make the choice. And so now you have to live with the consequences. And that's what I was saying before. Just because you refuse to choose doesn't mean that you, does not mean that you're not making a choice. You're choosing not to choose, which still has consequences. What is this horseman? That's the palace card of it. Oh, no, it ain't. We got Tempest and the Page of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we got six of wands in reverse. This is telling me that there can be no victory here. There can be no success. Uh, for someone, just as is coming in though, but ooh, at what cost? I'm getting there's some divine intervention at play that's going to be coming in here. Okay. Yeah, this is telling me that there are the guardian angels. I cannot make this shit up. I promise you. We, look, what, have y'all ever heard of the horsemen of the apocalypse? How, do y'all even know what apocalypse means? That's your homework. Look those words up. Look what they actually mean up. Not what you were just told to think they mean. Okay, so we got the Page of Swords, which is talking about somebody watching a situation, watching and learning, taking notes, um, observing. This usually is the spy card in the tarot, like somebody's watching you or spying on you or interested in you. And then we got the Angel of Temperance here, the Angel of Alchemy. She's They're talking about changing. Alchemy talks about turning lead into gold. But in this case, she's taking one emotion and turning it into another one. Yeah, there's some guardian angels here uh, watching this situation unfold. And they're watching the people who are able to alchemize and transmute energies. These are the chosen ones. These are, A lot of these people are going to start taking the forefront, coming to the stage. I don't know how else. <laughs> Look, I don't know how else to say it. Coming to the stage. <laughs> We got the elders coming to the stage. We got we got the youngsters who speak in knowledge and stepping into their divine purpose coming up to the stage to help spread this wisdom. And it's like, what for? What, is there gonna be peace on earth? Is all the homer and hunger and famished? People gonna cease to exist, like the famines, the ailments, the cancers, the pandemics. Is all of that gonna stop? Like, I'm getting like somebody's asking what the point of this is uh, of getting this information, of getting this knowledge. What's gonna change? Nothing's gonna change unless you change it, and the change starts with you. Yeah, and I know that's like so fucking cliche to say, but it's the truth. Be the change that you want to see. You can't force nobody else to change. No amount of information that you give someone can make them change. It can inspire them to. It could be the catalyst to their change, but it's not a forceful thing at all. I'm also getting here, something's hanging in the balance. Someone's trying to restore time. I don't know, or slow time down. What? Okay, so we got the Six of Swords and Six of Wands, Six, Six. Hmm. 
Six talks about love, actually. Balance. Hmm. So something is working. I'm getting like the people that are going to escape this situation that's going to be going on this adventure and they're going to turn out on the other side of it. These are the people who know what's going on that can see. Um, I'm also getting that can navigate and lead. They're going to be moving to success and recognition. And these people are also going to be leading other people on an adventure too of their spirit, of their soul. This is going to be successful. And these people are going to be in the spotlight and getting recognition. What did I say wasn't going to be successful? I can't remember. Ooh, we got the Five of Pentacles and the Three of Swords in reverse. with your life as a canvas, artist, manifestation, creative, creative accountability. And both of these were in reverse. So the five of coins in the upright talks about feeling abandoned, feeling like you don't have anyone, feeling like you don't have enough resources, support, assistance. With it in reverse, I feel like that's coming in or someone's giving that to you. And the three of swords is that it's not to hurt you or break your heart or betray you. Whatever information or assistance is coming in for you is to help open up your creative flow, which is in turn going to help create this change. Uh, there's a saying that they say um, art resembles life or life resembles art, whichever way it goes. Sometimes it's interchangeable. I feel like that has to do with, are we going to keep manifesting the same things out of fear and out of distractions? Or are we going to rise above what we're seeing and what we're being fed and create this change? Create, change the narrative, which will help manifest the reality of it. Show me you're not for everyone. I know I'm not for everyone. Woo, I know that. Yeah, Spirit saying protect love. Face your true, no true north. True north is love. For me, it is anyway. Nowadays, people look at love as a weakness. If you care about somebody, you're just making yourself vulnerable to be used, abused, or made fun of, simping is what they call it now. I was just be like, damn, y'all don't have no love or compassion for anything. And it's, it's a bad thing when you show that for, for people or two people. And I'm just like, how did we get this backwards? So if you're being called weird because you love or because you're compassionate or because you're protective, or you want to save something, or you have a purpose or a calling, embrace that. Don't follow what everybody else is telling you to do because what the fuck do they know? Our lives have been hijacked and we're being played like puppets. So obviously people haven't been doing that great of a job of choosing you know, what to follow. I mean, in the overall sense, we as a whole haven't been choosing very wisely. We got the seven of pentacles coming out, talking about remember your soul plan, the fated life versus the destiny life and the star, <laughs> the star and the seven of pentacles with I remember 
So again, it's being highlighted to me that the people who are waking up, um, the, the souls that are remembering their contracts, their purposes here, that are bringing the fruits of knowledge from the tree of life, which is right there, are about to be stepping forward, shining their light, showing that they remember, showing, you know, that there's more than, to the story than what we're being told. This is your destiny. What is this? I'm sorry. Yeah, this is actually the card that's about apologies. Somebody offering an apology, coming towards you, saying they're sorry, showing affection. Mm. We got the Two of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so I'm, what I'm mostly getting from this is that there's going to be people who are feeling sorry and feeling bad for the people who can't go with you. A lot of people are going to be stepping up into positions and a lot of people are going to be stepping back. And that's exactly what I'm getting here. It's like this path is not meant for everyone and everyone can't go. That's where the apology is coming from. Somebody has no choice but to uproot themselves. These are warriors of the light. That's what I'm getting. Hmm. What is water your garden? Man, these cards, I just don't. Water your garden, death, rebirth, rejuvenation, hydration, nourishment, body care, tenderness, rest. Oh my God, with the devil, I'm telling y'all, this is what this message was. It's like somebody needs to get this in right now because there, so there's about to be some things taking place that are going to require you to have your body in order, your physique, your, your ability, your endurance. Um, man, this makes me want to go run. <laughs> Fuck. This makes me want to start lifting weights or something because... I, and I mean, I am at that point where I'm changing my diet. I'm changing because I know I have to. I know that these things are coming around to where I'm going to have to. I'm not eating meat anymore. It's been, I'm going on my second week now of not having meat. And believe you me, it's very, very hard because vegetables, they go bad so fast. <laughs> Especially where I'm at because they don't have all the genetically processed materials in them. But yeah, they go, and when you get past that and you start seeing like real food, you do see how quickly it perishes or goes bad. But yeah, the, I, this is what I told y'all. Water your garden. Spirit was telling me you're going to need it. You're going to need it. This is not only just physical preparation. This is spiritual and mental, mental preparation too. We are in a spiritual war. That's basically what all these cards are saying. Oh, God. Every time I try not to go there, I go there. All right, I'm going to leave this reading there.